something to do with this shit. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this one. Oh yeah. What? Did you say, oh yeah? <laughs> oh yeah. This one's good. Yeah, because we'll be playing like Plague Tale and Scorn right away, so I'd like to get some old stuff in. <clears throat> I can get Dragon Quest Eleven maybe. Fit it into this month, and then we can do other shit to fill in the gaps. And that at the end of the month, stuff like that. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's super fucking quiet. How do they do it? What are they minding? What are they minding out to preach? I'm going to talk to you about it. What's that you got on call? Sorry, my son. What are they minding the soul with the tomato? Sound balances all over the place, man. Now it seems quiet, but then the sound effects was loud, so we'll just leave it. The Terraphage. Yeah, and I'm not sure on Moon Scars. Everybody says the control scheme's just horrible, but I, I can't get a read on if it's even like good outside of that. Were you interested in Terra Scars, Goto? Oh, not Terra Scars, excuse me. Moon Scars. I said Terra Scars. Because we just heard about the Terra Phage. Some loud sound effects, man. Hmm. We know. We've always known. I used to do. Where is my chat? <laughs> yeah, same. Nobody needs to see you bastards talking. are nice. They got some meat to when we hit dudes. Well, I guess we're not doing that. Where else can we go? We're trying to get back up in that hole. This will be a short one. I think it's only supposed to be four to something hours. So. Probably a little bit more than that because I'm sure I'll be talking.
healing. Noises. Turn down again. Goodbye. You cannot fall into the little puddle. It's a seafaring man, my ass. I probably actually use my D pad controller. I'm using stick right now, but I don't know if that's the call. are so loud in this. I might turn them down, but you have to turn them down like 25 whole percent. Yeah, sorry about that folks in the chat. Thank you for helping me. His voice acting is part fine, like old man kind of thing, and then part kind of goofy. <clears throat> it's because the made up language kind of sounds like he's just mumbling shit out. That's alright. Yeah, dude. Is this the terror page? Uncover new destination. Right. Hey, come, boatman. I go, boatman. Just new stages, or do we kind of like choose, pick and choose where to go? Okay. Shadow Gate, Shadow Creek. Well, what flavor of shadow are we feeling? I'm, t I'm feeling like a Shadow Creek right now. Sounds a little less spooky. I like Shadow River, Shadow Ocean. Okay. Different hat. 
Gods. I want to say now I'm, the story I'm not like super jacked in I guess they're showing off like a kind of crazy psycho plague thing and that our guys shipwrecked but a lot of the details and stuff kind of Uh, whatever. There's games with a lot of like ultra low pixel art that I like. We'll see on this one. I think it can be cool for like horror games and stuff. Like the last door was really good. It had like ultra low pixel art, but it had a lot more density and it was more about moving around like a point and click zone. Get some kind of weapon. I need a weapon. Okay, you're gonna actually get higher if you do the, the up kick. Especially if you hit something, you get like a little bounce off them. What the? Oh. Teleport. Sometimes, like, ultra low pixels can just be kind of like, eh. It can be hard to, like, discern what's going on. It just depends on how they're doing it. Like, it's good for horror because you can't really discern, like, detail. But sometimes things can be just kind of, like, more left your imagination, which I guess can be strong. I don't know what finding all the side stuff's doing, if there even is, like, side stuff to find outside money. So we're just gonna keep trucking. We move at a pretty brisk pace, so probably be something fun to just move quickly. What's up, Outcast? Am I attacking with the sword right now? Okay, yeah. This is the only one that makes noise, though. This still looks like it's a bunge. Secondary weapon, okay. Oh, I bet you're tired. Push my sleep schedule forward, so I'm a bit tired. As I stayed up pretty late last night. We'll be watching the rest of Record of Lodos for the original OVA, if anybody's interested, by the way. Uh, if you want to catch up, we stopped at episode 6. We got through 5. Well, probably after this game, or maybe later today, we'll continue that when Ripper's up, because I was the only person that was watching it with me. So if anybody's interested... It's pretty good. It's enjoyable. Some, <clears throat> you know, cool fantasy. <clears throat> Alright, 
That's way too loud. How is it? No, it's good. I like it so far. I mean, it's just a lot of like cool scenes, you know, fun shots. Everybody's acting like badass or doing cool shit. It's got, you know, it came out in 1990, so got that older anime style that's entertaining. I liked it so far. I mean, it's just them running through. All, there's a lot, a lot of action, a lot of different areas they're going to. It's just an adventure thing. Yeah, the music they've done in other uh, their other games has been good. So we'll play that game. I think after they're done watching the show, so either today, tomorrow, just depends. Probably tomorrow. So I wanna play that. When other people who've played it are around. Go to miss. And still you do this, and this is stabbing. I think stabbing's way better. Not sure it for sure. How long did you have fun with it? Yeah, it took me forever. Okay, so you do a number of hits. Then you get a super attack. I wish I could actually get to the the pause right now. <laughs> I mean I'm in the pause, but I mean the uh the volume. It's really loud. Okay, so if you hold forwards with the super attack, you get the, the super stab there. Gotcha. There's a terraphage near some shipwreck dude and now some old man on a boat's taking you around and you're just kicking ass and getting loot? <laughs> I don't know, I don't really know. A lot of ma a lot of ass kicking though, which is fun. I went through like all the Game Pass stuff last night, checked when everything came out. Or, or, or all the Game Pass games I had out on my list. Checked when everything came out, watched some no commentary gameplay for a few minutes on each of them, and then we're going through the stuff that I think will leave soon. It seemed interesting. It's very quiet. You mean the music? Or the game itself? Is there something wrong with my audio? I mean the music, there's yeah, hardly any music until now. I didn't know you even knew about this, Goto. I thought this was a game just nobody knew about. The character art? Yeah. I could see where the western kind of comic looking art turned people off. Some people. There's a lot of generic shit that uses it. So far it's pretty fun though. Goto, how long has it probably been, man? I can't remember every conversation I fucking have, alright? I have like a thousand a day. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a conversation about a game two years ago. I forgot. Sorry. Man. <laughs> I 
fucking lord. Yeah, I mean, the art's cool. Or not the art, but the like combat and stuff's cool. Do I have what I need? I have a sword. Yeah, well, everybody else blames me. Remember all sorts of other little details, but goddamn if I forget one person's goddamn conversation, man. Yeah, I don't know, it seems cool so far. How much does this cost normally? Ten bucks or something? Because it's supposed to only be like four hours, so... They're <laughs> ripper puzzle solutions. I try to forget that the bad times are always stuck in my mind. something I think there's only a one height of jump here yeah. big This has been on Game Pass for almost a year or more now. Probably less. Usually these only last for a year unless they got like special contracts. Which they have to be probably pretty pretty played to be in a special contract. I imagine this game's probably not getting a whole lot of plays on Game Pass. I'm probably the first person in like ten fucking ten months or something. Not because it's like bad or anything, but it just doesn't seem like the type. A lot of randos are going to be playing. Meaty. I'd say the only thing right now that's a little off about the art, I mean, uh, unless of course you're not really into the low pixel, which, I mean, I might have issues with that, we'll see by the end. Is uh, when things are animated, they still like roll in like a full like like HD like 60 FPS looking type of thing, right? Like when an object hits, it kind of just like rolls around like like normal, and like the HUD will shake in like an HD kind of way instead of like something with like probably a, a lower frame rate or like something that would you know like, like it's clearly just like some kind of object rolling around in like an engine instead of like probably some pixel art. Like a few frames are drawn. Punch down, not the the sword down. Gotcha. Well, showing, seeing as the trailer and like the opener is all showing off the comic art and shit, and the story takes a little bit. I didn't expect it to be mostly gameplay, which is fine. I'm totally down with that. Hey, dude. The climbing. Looks like he's crawling. I guess, I don't know. 
<clears throat> I don't care enough about Dragon Ball enough for watches. Wait, they're advertising Dragon Ball like, like watches? Or is it something to do with the new game coming out? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> double hit, man. Hey, boom. I feel like it like shakes up there. It's kind of yeah, like, uh, baggy. Big. I don't know where we're going. We're just going. Dragon Ball Watch. I don't know. What the? That's got to look like fucking pure shit. How many people actually wear watches still, too? I'm dead. Nice, almost there. How's it been holding up now that you're about done with it? Oh. Bujoing. Am I the harpoon bear? Am I going to be the harpoon bear? Oh, that was poison, I guess. Oh, summon the harpoon. Dash to the harpoon. Ooh. To make him fly through space and time. Okay, so you have the harpoon, the rapier. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. The harpoon thing seems neat. Yeah, the line triggers instead of like a pressure button is cool. It's like 90% of the time in games, it's like some kind of pressure button for like a... Crossbone. You avoid them the same way every time. Boss man. <laughs> oh. Hopefully it ends on a high note then. Claim the Harpoon of Legend and Terraphage is waiting to be explored. Will you find your way home? Oof, HD fonts on a low pixel art game. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want people to do it. Just fucking make a font that's like pixels. Too. Looks like <laughs> Makes it look fucking cheap. Tacky. At least I think so. There's some games that you could swap between them. I, I like that a lot. In case you don't want to have to like look at it in a pixely way. The growth of the Castaways cause. Powerful hats. Arrows. Bones. Necklaces.
Just the art style? Or is there a lot of like flashing or something? I doubt I'll be 100%ing this. I'll grab stuff that we see, but there's a lot of like go left or right, and then when you go left, it's kind of like, oh, you're done, you know. I'm not gonna go too ape shit. Depends on the rewards and if I want to be replaying levels, but. <clears throat> I think we just want to keep rolling. Pure white with red walls. Nice. Aye, my eyes. We are leaving. I can just fix shit. Increase your max health for a price. Let me see what else there is to buy. and items he returns okay what's all this stuff hats crates and keys Receiving damage increase and attack. That's, that sounds good. I'd like to get this one. I like combo type of speedy shit. Well, the thing is, if like you only get to pick one hat, then I mean, you can just make one you like and ignore the rest. Unless you just want to be a completionist. Secrets. This one doesn't look super ridiculous either. I need like bamboo though. A man's hat can do many things. Let's go upgrade my max health. I'm sure we'll get more money wherever we go here. I get that like when you make a shitload of dungeons, maybe there's a point where you just want to like do something really different, and then you do something probably really dumb like make an eyesore. Hopefully it's a one-time thing. I'm sure Etrians are the same way. If there's any like eyesore dungeons in that. The one I played, it wasn't too bad. There wasn't any like 
Eyeball explosion tendons. They must like strange journey. Soul hackers. Go to the shadow gate. Looks like you can replay levels. I don't know if we're gonna like have to. We just move on somehow. Or maybe like re-explore them with different stuff. I don't know. Hopefully not. Levels seemed a little. It's hard to even tell the difference between a lot of areas. They all kind of had the same features. That was pretty long. like a different level there's clearly a way to go on the right we could have gone here in the first place yeah i'll have to go check it out Ooh, yeah. can we just warp out and just throw the fucking spear Yeah, we've been destroying walls and like... <laughs> like teleporting through fucking shit. I guess it's too much, man. Can he just teleport the harpoon to him whenever he wants? Not from like ultra far. Treasure, dude.
Your bones, uh, I'll take them. I have to jump like right away too. I see. What happens if we just go the normal way? There's like another dungeon essentially, I'm guessing. And it's just like blocked off. Super rare gacha roll. In Splatoon? What'd you get? <laughs> Look, dude. If you've taken, taken to some random gotcha, what'd you get? Dude, you have to fucking press this really quick. You can't just let it sit, even though technically it would just sit for a while, wouldn't it? Nah, that's the good stuff, dude. Oh, super duper lucky title. I got mincemeat. I changed my title to like... I don't remember what, but something mincemeat. I thought that was funny. Well, he's doing fucking salmon run. Oh, I don't want to do any salmon run after five, but oh, he can ditch us and play salmon run right now. Bastard. Ten bronze, though? What the hell's with the rates, man? You hold me back. I say that. We were on the up, dude. I'd be executive VP right now, too. I was playing. The Timmies are out. <laughs> Maybe I'll play some after this, we'll see. Can't get out. Uh. Ooh, combos. The combo game, though. Yeah, I just want to get more unlocks. 
I hope they keep adding things to Salmon Run to unlock. Like, don't get me wrong, slop seats alone are fun, but... It'd be cool to have a wider variety of exclusive Salmon Run gear. Fives with teams, I think it's best to split up. Oof. I feel for you. Gun. Automatic crossbow. Hmm. <clears throat> Be cool if it's just like on another button. But... Okay, RB doesn't do anything, just LB. That'd be fine too if it was just a toggle you had to pop on real quick. go through it so fast, man. I'm already out of ammo. One of those things would probably be cool if I just didn't have ammo. Then I guess it would be like too abusable, but... <laughs> Depends on how often I get ammo, I guess. You know, like a Dante gun thing. It's like super strong, but you can kind of do some cool shit with it. Let's see. You could only you could always pick up your, your bolts. We'll see. I mean the spear's good enough without I don't really need the rapier as much, I feel like. They kinda handle a lot of the same shit. But I guess if you don't have your
not the bamboo, man. You can do like huge jump, like dodges, but you can't actually like... But it takes a while for you to like recover. Rebrat, 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 Same. One of the keys to the shadow. Better day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seems like it. That's quite a few eggs. That's the most I've heard of in a wave. Yoink's pants up. Ah, a lady. Powder, red feather, a key. Zero out of ten. Some dudes we can save or something. Oh, 
Dude, just like aiming his gun at the sky <laughs> for some reason. Appreciative. Look, I could pick that one up, but as long as I don't lock myself at the chance of another one. My dude's have. this man perfect bring me more shit my dude for another one. <laughs> Fuck your bull, dude. I need to clean that shit up every time I throw it away. I'm the boss. I guess. What if we just went to the shadow gate again and just went like straight? So now we got new areas, man. Waterfall, the forest. Let's find out. I was curious how open this actually was, like how many choices I had. If this is just like an insta dead end, we had to have the spear.
Oh, the three keys to the shadow gate are put in here. Gotcha. He takes his hat off. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell does this guy even need to go, man? He might as well just sit there at the dock. I mean, maybe he's afraid he's gonna get his ass kicked by something. Fair. Seem to be afraid of, I suppose. The forest. Right, so there wasn't really any choice there. We'll just have to go back eventually. I don't know if this game's gonna have like hidden endings or anything, depending on side content, but we're just rolling, man. Whatever happens, happens. Like I'm too jacked into the story or anything. Seems fine, but. Not shoot diagonally from a jump? Maybe not. This is one of the prisoners. How we drop him down. I guess you can't throw to like cut these. Turn one, so there's more. I've missed them. Unless we get some cool ass rewards, I probably don't care too much. Or if we're just close to getting them all, then maybe I do it. the door to move on. Hard to tell. How do I use my superpowers? But only when I dodge. You don't just press it. You have to press it in the direction. Otherwise, he just pulls it back. I wonder, it's been like weird sometimes.
Now you can go backwards in this one. music? Sounds kind of directional. Very nice. Hidden monies. So with the hats you get some passive stuff too, it's not just active. Destroy the rest of your homes real quick, dude. There's like actually like death from falls. We can just do whatever. Seems like there's a lot more to discover than I'm giving it credit for. There's one over here, yeah. There's ten of these guys in the game. I'd imagine I've missed some. Unless they've only just started. collectibles that looks like a thing Uh. 
So he's the guy we didn't know. It's a human being. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, son. No, I'm doing a bit of that exploring. <clears throat> Can't help myself. up here. It's just like branching path. Three keys. Okay. So we'll be back. Three of them, man. Combat's pretty smooth in this, though. Jumping around. Oh, I like the kind of just teleporter stick. That's cute. Switching the weapons though might be a little annoying. It'd be cool if you kind of could just use them all and they all had some kind of utility. I'm always a fan of having more tools at once and these more kind of flowy action games. the fucking grass though. Could have figured. I think that's another thing is like sometimes it's hard to tell what you can interact with and what's just like in the background and what's not. Like sometimes the explosives look kind of like the poison or yeah. like it's just a corpse or something. I think that's a problem with like low pixel kind of shit. Overall, it's fine. It, it's just pretty simple. The layouts look pretty samey between each end, but... 
There's a few times I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I guess when you walk in one with a cutscene, you can't go back. The Wawa. I'm guessing these are just collectibles. There's forty of them. Ten of the dudes. Four maps to find. Clearly, I know like a super long game, but I don't care how long something usually is, unless it's like gross overpriced. If so that's supposed to be like the the optimal experience, or the gameplay starts wearing off, or the story they want to tell us them, then so be it, man. Definitely quality over quantity person, depending on the game. Right? There's some games where you're like, ah, oh, I could use some more here, it's like 60 bucks, or... They can go far enough in some, some way. I don't think I need to be like limited, but like I have to have at least 10 hours. Oh, boss. Interesting way to do a timer. Uh, I guess it's better than just a number and you just explode, but <laughs> it's actually like literally just your the the terrain. It's a bit more fun. I'm guessing if I fucked up it wasn't gonna just save me either. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully enemies don't get too spongy in this. Definitely feels more like a game that would benefit from uh, lots more enemies and combos and like different types than just like millions of enemies that are like super tanky. Oh, we got one key. Adventure Forth. I'd probably rather go to Oak Tide, but I'm curious what Venture Forth is. Where are we gonna be? Okay. Just here.
I think the sword does more DPS or something. Go back to Oak Tide and take the other path. I remember the secret path. I think it was this way. Some crazy. Another key. We'll find one as we go. I don't know what that is. I guess we gotta uh, we'll unlock those later. Let's do a tide. Cool. Something new over here. They have like a chair now. Maybe the place upgrades as you get more castaways. Looks like it. I can buy. Acid doesn't hurt you. It secretes its own against foes. Okay. Steel vitality. That sounds pretty good. Electricity through harpoon combat. I want this one, man. You don't get hit, you just keep getting faster. I just need some more bamboo. Not much. Shooting shards. Allow the harpoon to spin like a saw blade sounds pretty juicy too. What I've got on right now is Neat, but it doesn't change really the combat for me much. I mean, you just when you dodge, some extra attacks are gonna come out. It's more just like all extra deeps. What if there's any way to see where like hidden or uh, castaways are? So I didn't find any of these other zones, but I also wasn't like checking everything. The fine tooth comb or whatever.
Yeah, some of the atmosphere, like... I like just the, the common dude treats our guy and all that, and... Some of the... I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the weirdness? Uh, I'm not sure. The overall story, not... We're not doing too much. I don't know on the low pixel. I think the low pixel is like fine here. It was probably in service of, you know, not having to have a bazillion dollars of pixel art, but I don't know if they've owned it in a way where it like it was like better than if it was just like crispier art, right? Like I said, something like the last door, I couldn't imagine it any other way. The low pixel art works really well for the horror there. That's also point and click, so. Now let's buy that other hat, now that I have the materials. Yeah, definitely not like tuned into the, uh, the stories, but I mean, I'm paying attention, I don't mean that way, but. The gameplay's pretty fun. I like all the movement. I don't know if this guy's worth it. I mean, he gives you some stuff, but it's like shit. I don't really feel like I need anything anymore. I mean, I guess we could get all the hats, but... I'd rather get my HP upgraded with that money. I mean, I have enough for both of these. I just need whatever the fuck those are, like little spools. Enough to buy this. Need more bones to buy this. This looks like a fucking ball cap. <laughs> I'll save up to maybe get that one. Electricity through coma. Like I feel like we're gonna find just most of these exploring. I think it's like a big grind. I think 25 isn't pricey, but I could use that to get max health, so. Yeah, the combat's fun enough. I'm more interested in exploring a bit now. There's like the town upgrades and stuff and all that. Kinda neat. We'll see. We'll see how the, the combat ends up changing. But my dude's hat's just a little goofy half the time. But it's cool there's a little bit of progression. It's not too far me or anything. The only problem with a system like this, if you, just, if you buy the hat you like right away, then you wouldn't even get the other hats, except for some kind of completionism. So a lot of the materials will just kind of go to waste. But luckily I like just buying a bunch of shit anyways. But money-wise, I mean the thing is they cost money too, so I feel like you'd always rather just... There's something up here. See where it looks like you like walk on it, maybe. Oh well. So I'm not gonna get too obsessed over it. We get what we get. Oh, we don't. We're all fat. Why is the game named after this lady, dude?
My dude's the fall walk looks fucking ridiculous here. The fucking longest strides ever, man. And he looks like he's sliding, right? It's one of those where his footsteps take too long for the the speed he's moving at and shit. It's fine when he's running, but his like little walk <laughs> looks fucking goofy as shit, man. I think that kind of thing could be fixed, regardless of the, the pixel art. <sighs> oh, we got a key. going on here. Nice. Guess that was it. I'm guessing that third key is back in the area we were at. This is just a freebie. Came over here and Sucked on her juice or whatever. And voila. Looks like this will connect from here. We should go to the forest and then try to find a branch from here. I like that they introduced that though, and see if they like wait the whole time. This is where we want to get to uh the dude. Let's go to the low path. I don't think we did that. Yeah, I think that's the thing is like you have to swap to this and the ammo's kind of like rare. It'd be kinda cool if it leaves like either like you had like a three or four shot burst at like regen. So that you couldn't just spam it safely and cheese everything. Or maybe like you could pick up your ammo more uh, reliably. And then also have it on a button or like a modifier button or something where you can just kind of press it. Often without having to swap between them real quick. Toggles and like cycles always kind of I feel like are the bane of like smooth combat. <laughs> It's just like an extra button press or two. It, it can be cool, but... I've been down here. I think so. It looks familiar. So does a lot of shit in it.
moving fast. Oh yeah, I'm moving way fast. Now we're talking. Once your meter fills up to max, you go really quickly, but if you get hit, I guess you lose the meter. Ultra fast, man. <laughs> Probably should take it easy on going ape shit like that. Classic musket. Black powder shells. swap between all these men. Is there really not like a better way to swap? Like no other button. Like I know the game side scroll so it's gonna use the d-pad but like looking at like L and then in a direction or just I'm gonna kind of like swap between all these men. Because if you're on one weapon you need to know how many toggles it is to get to the next one so you have to be constantly paying attention to like what the rotation is and it's just easier to have some set thing if you're flowing with like hard combat or something let's see oh that knocks you back Go back to Oak Field or whatever. Oak Tide. Like maybe if every time you went to Oak Tide, you like fully refilled on stuff so that you could use these more. It's just like a. A really powerful but like limited thing, but come on man. He's killing all these guys doing these without us. That's not right. This is a fucking right, man. Oh, 
See this old bitch here. Assuming we're about to get a boss. There's a boss on every uh, shadow key.
spent all my fucking ranged weapon ammo and then just spammed <laughs> the super speed, dude. The bosses are whatever. Confirm. Like I said, this game works best with when you're just like flowing between a bunch of different guys and teleporting and kind of combo them in each other. It's not like ultra smooth, you're not doing like insane combos. There's no like, you know, like juggling or setting them up to be all put in these these groups. And mainly because you can't really swap between the other weapons and use them in like a flow kind of way. You have to like toggle between them and they have pretty limited ammo, but it's still fun. You are the fast man. The boot man. can now chain electricity. Is that just a just a thing it can do or I have to like do something special. <laughs> Kill that guy, I guess he's back. Yeah. I think one of the cardinal sins of a pixel game, low pixel game, whatever kind of pixel game is not having pixel font. <clears throat> You'll have a bunch of like pictures that are pixelated, right? You can count the you can count the fucking pixels, and then it'll be HD font, or things will roll around and like with like a full like sixty FPS like you know HD kind of roll, which I guess is not as big a deal, but you know when every other animation is like got like set drawn animations and frames to have some objects just kind of like. Physics roll around. Looks trashy, although I guess it's good for the gameplay. This shit just flying everywhere and you can, you can go pick up stuff. But I don't mind that as much, but I guess the font is. Yes. It happens in so many of these. I, I feel like it happens more often than it does. I'm usually surprised when something has like its own like kind of pixelized font. I feel like there's got to be like free pixelized font out there. Maybe I'm crazy, man. Never understood it. Because you see these, it's like, oh, it's a pixelized key. And then right next is like an HD font. <laughs> the color palette. We're going to roll and wash out tons just don't do much interest in me. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of there with you. I think like a lot of the areas just kind of run together. I think it's probably because a lot of it's just kind of brown and stuff. And I, I mean, I'm all for just like really bleak. 
like rough looking environments like that, but yeah, there's nothing that really like stands out. <clears throat> We're always in kind of like a cave or something. Color palette for sure. Here looks extremely bad. Yeah, it makes it look tacky. I think it's when it's matched with like low pixel. Because low pixel is hard to make like look really impressive. Like I said, it can look good in stuff like The Last Door because it's utilized for like horror well. And those environments still are pretty varied and dense. But on this, it's like an action game you run around quickly. Some of the animations can look a little sloppy, like his walk and stuff. And so, like, since nothing really stands out super hard art artistically, I think, like, also having the text kind of, like, tacky looking stands out more because of that. But I don't know. One out of eight? Are those, like, hangouts with the or whatever? Kissy kissy times. Yeah, I mean, I get with this game, they're going for some kind of... They're trying to trying to get some kind of atmosphere, right? They're not going for just like a generic, like, oh, hero man runs around the lava ice forest zone and all that. It's like, they're going for something. Something unique. I don't know if it... Feels super well realized. Some of it's interesting, like little bits of the story, like a little bit of like how the NPCs treat him, shit like that. But it's not like super crazy or nothing. Oh, you can create guns. Or not guns, but ammo. The use for anything else. Imagining there's a max. There it is. So. Twenty. Should probably only ever make up to like fifteen. Although who knows, we might not even find any more. Like that the town upgrades. All the people of Terraphage. Isn't Terraphage like a like a thing then? <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the Terraphage. Was that in Mass Effect? <laughs> All the different like kind of distorted like kind of ways they talk and stuff like it's definitely going for something right i just don't think it's like fully got me on it but yeah. it it's electricity through harpoon combat I need to play Rain World still. Someday. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, super bleak, kind of washed out atmospheres are totally fine with me, but yeah, you kind of have to have like everything going, like really own it. Otherwise, it could just come across as like boring. And with low pixel, it's like you really gotta be beast mode. And I feel like everything else, because you're already like losing a lot of detail. 
And there's a lot of games that do low pixel like this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't just have it be like muted and and dark and that call it a day. There, I mean, you have to be interested. Yeah, like I mean, maybe it's a story. Maybe they're yeah, still got some kind of variety. Like you can still make stuff stand out and be super dark, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those, I feel like the, the simple pixels just don't do it any favors. I feel like you really gotta crank everything up to like 10. To make ultra low pixels stand out. I guess. Hello, <laughs> hello. I'm having sex with one of the native girls. You're good, brother. I'm just here to kill people. Yeah, the gameplay is the big takeaway for me as of right now. Yeah, it seems really neat for sure. It's a stealth. I've heard it's pretty heavy duty, which is totally fine. Yeah, kind of like mix things on it. Right? I don't know how much of that's from it just being like really unique, obtuse or something. So a lot of people get attached to that kind of difficulty, or if it's in a bit of gameplay so it's hard to say. Seem to mind.
Is this supposed to just be like some funny, like... Maybe not funny, but... The forbidden romance thing, I gotta like sneak into Juliet's fucking castle here. Sex acts for a second. So we have to do these though. Which is weird that they like tally them up. Unless there's some optional ones later. That there's eight of them at all is kind of surprising considering how much game there probably is. The curse. Box. I've heard these before. I guess they're just more like super secrets. Hmm. 
Maybe those are the eight things? Yeah, that's what they are. Is that hanging out with her didn't count? I don't know what they're for. I don't know if they're secret ending, like I said. I think we're just gonna... Whatever happens, happens. happens on that one, man. last as long as I want. Collectible over there too. Well, that cost me most of my health. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Speed Demon. I think every time we go into a new zone, the waves the combo. There's been a lot of us going to new zones. Oh no, it cuts it in half. Gotcha. Teleporting all around, man. Catch it there. I need to do these in order. Okay. Did I turn it on earlier and now it's like not on or something? This feels like a side thing. They haven't required me to do anything like this yet. The puzzles.
Guess it wasn't. Oi. I should wait and listen to that. I don't like make you. I'm always like, oh, maybe they'll just keep talking as I run around, but then they don't. So. For the lost ones, <laughs> as I like murder them. No, they won't be saved. I'll make sure of that. Oh, I'll make sure of that, my friend. Yeah. Fuck Sonic sometimes, man. For being the drink place, their ice or their styrofoam or something makes the fucking drinks taste like fucking. Booby do, dude. Sometimes. How they manage it. So this is kind of interesting, right? Visuals here. trying to get out man but then there's dudes like on top of me and then that guy with the bat who just took like half my health away in one hit magically that was close man well, those guys didn't make it You could make it. <laughs> the old man polishing his, his gun off or sword. That's a sword.
He's actually a badass. Surprise. Can't upgrade the health again. Yeah, like 200 or something. Am I maxed out? Oh, I'll be maxed out. Didn't even have an option. Start buying these. Let's try the different hats, fuck it. Steel vitality no longer fear the burn of ass. Interested in this one, but I don't know how we get those pieces. They must be just later. Costs a lot of cash, too. I like the idea of the speed one, but since it, every time you go through the uh, the doors, it cuts it. You can't like use it just to bust through levels super fast, and it's easy to get hit in this. So. I'd like to test other hats. We might go back to it though. These are cost around water. Where's the Thunderstone? The backwards cap, dude. Crocodile headgear. This looks absolutely stupid as fuck, man. <laughs> He's just walking around with like a fucking reverse cap, dude. Can I just catch him over here? So the vitality. It sounds like you just get health back on kills, which probably not super useful on a boss unless it has a lot of ads, but they have had ads. No more acid. I like the fencers one's probably the most of the... Let's try this one for fun. The saw blade, uh... Harpoon sounds like it could be good too. Well, we're about to go fight a boss. Uh, maybe I should have done something else. Pal. I'll lock it. Another one. Oh, this bastard, man. You're leaving us behind, Sudo. Smugly doing it at that. It's a 
that's not right. But he tells us we gotta stop playing, and he goes and plays himself. Sick bastard. I needed a break, yeah, understandable. I should be grinding it. It looks like a halfway decent one, but... We'll see, maybe after this. Depends. fill in here somewhere. There's so many different kinds of collectibles in this, it feels like the kind of game that'll probably have like some sort of secret ending. Who knows though? It's not so fun that I want to like hundred percent it. It's it's fun to just run through so far. I think the length of the game is probably gonna be fitting. I don't even get a full refill, man. I'll probably just lose here. See what happens when you die in this.
I gotta get this health. It's like health that we could use to heal ourselves, but... <laughs> like in the fight, but I don't have to use it just to fucking top it off. Shoot me from like off screen here. Yeah. I don't know, I was just healing on my eyes, just like buffing them or just throwing something at us or missing. I'm just healing them so I did like way extra damage. Your shotgun's good, but it's like so good you just kind of like save it. so far. I feel like there had to have been some of the first two levels, but maybe not. Electricity seems cute, but it doesn't really change that much. I like the idea of just like running around fast. Yeah. Problem is, it's like we're not gonna get hit at all, right? So the harpin thing will actually see more. This 
this protects against acid and secretes it itself. We'll see. Two keys, but there's two keys here. What's that? Like a a dock we can uncover. Secret dock. Sneaking around before, but I guess I'm just good to hang out this time. Still wondering why the game's named after her. And we're gonna find out kind of why she was imprisoned by the evil people. Take this dude's sword. Sorry, brother, it's mine now. The moon blade. Strut, man. Looks so special. Gotta say, for this kind of like this kind of atmosphere they're going for, to have all the side effects, but like blink, 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 blink. A little goofy.
hurry people. Yeah, so. I'm gonna just go back to the speed one. I wonder how we get to this man. Looks like you get everything you need just right here, man. Like a side thing or I'm just going back to this. We don't have enough game left to really test all these. I'll just go for something that's probably more fun. The lightning's probably one of the more effective ones, but that's alright. Press in the direction now. I think we'll practice. Oh, I gotta leave that up there <laughs> for longer. Oh. One of the scary things we've been needing. Takes you out of it like a like a freeze. Oh, it's hanging right now. Not responding. We'll wait and see. I think it's crashed. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like it's all right. <clears throat> it's fun, but it's also kind of. I don't say it's wearing out its welcome. But, uh, I think the story kind of like, like it's trying to be a bit more in the background, a bit more visual and stuff, but not really able to own it to the extent it needs to. And then like it not being like that crazy to look at. Kind of doesn't help. The other problem is the combat really never changes pretty much the minute you get the spear. Like you get sub weapons, but you don't really swap between them in any kind of flowy way. You just switch them and use them when you want and they're mostly all ranged. So it's like, it stays pretty samey. And I don't really feel like the level design's done a whole lot. It's still a good time so far, but yeah. If these are the last few levels and that one, it's probably gonna be the best. Oh, yeah. 
I think a bit more complicated enemies, or at least enemies where I can like weave between stuff a little bit more. I mean, being able to warp anywhere is pretty strong, but because you can warp pretty much anywhere at all times, maybe it makes certain like ranged weapons and stuff a little less important. I think if you could like still warp a lot but like maybe the maps were big enough or the enemies were kind of moving around enough that like you could swap between weapons quickly and not even swap just use them all and you weren't you weren't so like limited by like resources like I mean I still haven't gotten max arrows and I haven't used the arrows in like eons when I don't know. I don't think like more puzzly stuff is really the answer here. I think the game's biggest strength is it's kind of speedy, kind of slow combat. How much fun we had? We haven't fun. This teleporter blade, either. I don't know if you can just like use this or if it's always for some gimmick. Get to you, brother. They're just gonna make me use this for puzzles from now on anyways. This is why being able to like swap to or use all the weapons at once if you can. In some way to get you to use 
I feel like the ranged weapons a bit more freely. Either it's a bit more ammo drops, maybe cooldowns. Maybe cooldowns that have like a couple shots per cooldown. <clears throat> like you do have a lot of ammo, but it's like hard to want to like bother when you know you're going to want to like spam them against bosses. Obviously enemies that would respond a bit better to like you using more ranged or different tools. Use the rapier. Okay, do. This raid, man, stealing vitality might be the way to go. <clears throat> Start fucking losing a bunch of health. Feel like you get hit often enough. It's probably not. I mean, like right there, like some ghetto hits. Like this is just really fast. Like it's hard to even want to use this thing. Cause every time you like attack with it, it like. You can use it to warp around, but it's so kind of like awkward, man. Like I can do that to warp, but then like I just warp back. I guess if the enemies were moving around enough, and you were like freely flying around, you could like combo them and like throw them back into shit. Like could be one thing, but because they do die so fast, I was like, what am I even setting up with this weapon? It's neat, but like, oh, let me switch the bow real quick. Let me press LB like four times. Right, like that's just slow. You're never gonna want to be like, oh yeah, let me just swap between all these real quick. Like, wait, what am I on right now? Oh wait, I'm on. I want to get to this. I gotta do this twice. So I want to get to the shotgun. I gotta do this three times. I always hate these toggle systems. I <laughs> like the worst way to do this kind of shit. It's just not good for flow, man. Let it 
flow. Did you say so, my man? one hit too often. Like for sure you could do some cute shit with this, but Sons. Shit, that <laughs> ladder animation is so uh, like overboard. damage. It's not bad. That's my thing though, is it's like, so it's like, okay, you have like a melee weapon as your main hand with this, then you have a melee weapon as your off hand, and then you can to another melee weapon, it's like, what utility do they bring? It's like, the spear, you throw it, and that means you might not have a melee weapon, so you'd use the fast one or something. But it's like, yeah, I don't know, a lot of these cover like a lot of the same ground. I mean, it's not like you can flow between them anyways, so I guess it's not like a really big deal. getting all the castaways does. We all look up and see if there's like hidden endings. If it wouldn't take me like forever, maybe it'd be worth it. collectibles and it just changes the the hangout and then I probably won't mess with it.
Nope, just one ending apparently. The rest is just for flavor, that's fine. Then we probably won't do any extra shit. I mean, if I find more stuff, I'll find it, but I'm not gonna like go for the 100% or something. Unless I just casually get it, right? This is a big ass room, man. Kind of moved into like more puzzly territory, hasn't it? It's light puzzling, it's not like crazy shit, but. Throw this shit like really far. Money. This game, I'm gonna do like a little bit of a food break. I didn't eat a whole lot, just a little bit. Yeah, five out of eight, nine out of ten. We're pretty close, but I probably have to go back because I heard the the player, the the spinny player, a few times. I didn't grab anything, but I'm, I don't care. Switch hats too for fun. It's better so a few upgrades too. Two more of these to get that. Maybe I'll be able to get that before the end. Just to buy them all. That would be nice. I don't know what this is. Like a ship graveyard. Well, shouldn't matter. We'll keep going. If I find some way to use it or get to it, then okay. Since it's an extra level, I'd actually like to go to it. I'll have to look it up if I don't find it. But I have a feeling I'll probably find it, or it's just some normal thing. Although the animation for making like a new dock, you think they'd use it more than once. So. I'll do a food break when we're done with this and then uh probably start Project Wingman, which is like a, a jet fighting game. This is pretty good. But uh, if we don't start that, maybe Splatoon. Um, we got some other old stuff too. We're not old, old for Game Pass, it's new. Yeah, it looks solid. Yeah, so the old stuff that probably will leave Game Pass at some point here. I guess I could go over some of it. Um, Archvale was one of them. That's supposed to be kind of like a procedural, but like exploration kind of bullet hell 
top down action game. Um, we got time on this game. Yeah. Ooh, Echo Generation. We'll probably do that soon, actually. That's came out on Game Pass almost a year ago now. Echo Generation, which is a short kind of like RPG. I think Rydless just played that. Um, yeah, it seems good. So maybe do that. I'm good on some of these, unless they have like six month contracts. I, I mean, I can't really guess that. I don't know if I'm going to do Monster Train or Slay the Spire. I'll just pick those up someday. I've watched enough of Bulls. They seem fun, but I, I'm also just not feeling like playing like some Infinite Road like card game. Never in the mood for those. So I'm probably not going to end up playing those. It's not that they are my speed. Maybe I have to be like in a mood, but. Yeah, it looks like okay. Slay the Spire seems to be the business. I'm gonna take off Monster Chain. Thing is, like, I don't know how much I'd play Slay the Spire. Like, am I just just do some random runs like Isaac, or is there some goals I'm after? I don't know. We'll see. If they decide they're gonna get rid of it, maybe I'd fuck with it. I feel like I'll just pick it up for cheap someday if I care, because it's that kind of game you probably want to come back to, not like have it on like a limited game pass thing moonglow pit bay is possible it's came out on a game pass almost a year ago so i'm like eh. but man it's so it's panned so hard by everybody man it looks comfy like the music sounded like it would be nice and just fishing and exploring but i don't think they've updated it much since it originally came out and it's supposed to be absolutely fucked with bugs yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of Slay the Spire. Like, I know how it plays. <clears throat> it looks like it has a lot of depth and a lot of options, and there's a lot of good mods and updates and all that, but it's just like... That's another thing, is I probably want to mod it at some point. Game Pass is bad for that. Yeah, I'm just going to take off my list. Let's, let's take that off. I don't think Slay the Spire is a good Game Pass game. So buggy, yeah, and I just don't think they've updated it. I was like, I was just gonna keep waiting until they updated it more, but it's like, it came out on Game Pass, I think, in October. October 25th of 2021, so it's like, it's been almost a year now, so. That game will take a couple days, at least. It's not supposed to be short, so. I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch some more gameplay. Like, maybe we'll just do it. So that's an option. Um... Nobody saves the world. I think I got a bit on that a couple months at least. I think that's the one made by the Guacamole devs. It looks kind of eh when I watch it, but like I have a feeling when you get your hands on it with all the options, it's cool. And I always like their soundtracks. So. Like right now, I'm just talking about stuff that's been on Game Pass for a while. Project Wingman's definitely been on there. If anything, I would have already been gone. I think it released on Game Pass over a year ago, so. Um, Record of Lodos War is another one. Came out in December of last year. So we're going to finish the anime tonight, probably, when Ripper gets on. Um, we left off. We're going to start episode six of the OVA, not the, the, nine, the, like the late 90s one, the early 90s one. So if you guys are interested, we'll be doing that. I'll play the game after. Um, what's another one here? Not this one. Um, this one probably really soon. Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, this is a roguelike one, but the music seems really solid. They say it takes like 20, 30 hours to beat it once. And there's a lot of replay value. I mean, I'd probably just play through it once. Maybe twice if it was like really cool but that's supposed to be neat i watched some gameplay and it seemed cool so that one probably will be soon space warlord organ trading simulator will be soon but that's supposed to be like an hour too long and there's a few extra endings but and yeah i think those are a lot of our short like the ones that i'll probably leave somewhat soon other than dragon quest 11 um what else do we have on here hunter call the wild horizon 
I just won't leave that suit. Hitman Trilogy might. If Hitman Trilogy just pops up magically somewhere, um, I'll just play them. We'll play through the Hitman Trilogy. I I'd like to play through the whole series. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Sid. Damn, fucking the big gift for you and you and Airbag. Thank you, guys. But yeah, um, I don't know. We might, if, they, if they're going to take off the Hitman Trilogy at some point, I'll just play through those. I have the other ones, but we would need to play Codename Hitman 47, Hitman Contracts, Blood Money. I think that's it. I've already done Absolution. So that would probably be like three, four plus days. So maybe if Hitman was just going to leave on its own, I would do it. But I'm pretty sure all three of the new Hitman games are pretty long. So. Um, yeah, I think those are the things that will be leaving soonish. I mean, out of, like, new stuff that looks interesting, stuff like, you know, Grounded, like, maybe we'll do those, but. Yeah, I've been meaning to go through the whole Ace Combat series. I was just going to start with the first one, Air Combat. I've actually booted it up on stream once, but we never actually went through with it. Oops. Keep doing that. Since it's not a switch, it's a fucking like hold one. I try to like grab it before I leave the room like a dumbo. Yeah, those will be some ones leaving actually soon. They added a lot in like December October to December and January of last year and I haven't gotten through them. Ten. What the fuck? This guy keeps killing, man. I gotta catch up on all these games, but he's making me want to go do more Splatoon. Wow, I just took like a million damage. You can tell how interested I am in this game by me talking about playing a thousand other games. I don't think this is bad. I think it's like decent. Like it's uh, it's good for like a nice short little time, right? Like the combats. It's got some nice animations. You fly across the screen and do big hits. It's pretty. It's a lot of like hit stun. It feels rewarding to like smack dudes, but it doesn't really have much depth after the first hour. And then the the story and the aesthetics, and the presentation. I don't think really do a whole lot. The level design. Them trying to like add more puzzles and shit. Probably not what I would do. I feel like there's a lot more potential for the combat. But oh well. It's still fun. It's still a good time, but yeah. I don't think it's worth going much further past this one. Holding Gutta back. Mm -hmm. He's just been warming up. sandbags when we play. everybody right
Stuff. What you like to hear? <laughs> the fucking Goldie Wave loss, yeah. It happens when. People get too cocky in the Goldie waves. But you still have to turn in quite a bit. <laughs> Died twice on a Goldie wave. How's that even possible? Tried getting out, but I love when people put fucking like traps like one foot into a room, you fall down, you're fucked. It looks like those checkpoints are pretty close. Yeah, no, no. I just think that when this game focuses on, like, slower puzzle stuff... It's just not its strong suit. Like, the game's at its best when you're, like, playing your stuff is like lethal combat you're gonna be moving really quick and watching your ass Yeah, that's like a, I, I get wanting those kind of stuff in your game. It make you think like, oh, it provides variety and it's not just combat, but it's a four hour game. I think just doubling down on really smooth combat or just like kind of fast warpy kind of platforming and stuff is fine. I don't think the mechanics and the kinds of puzzles here like fun enough that the pace break, how the game just kind of like slows to a crawl in some of these areas is worth it. I've seen it before too. Like where games get like they try to make it more difficult, make it more complicated, and then it ends up kind of like losing what was like the best thing about the game in the first place. My friend is Pedro. That was an awesome game, but I did that in the final chapter. Where there's just like way too many hazards and way too many enemies that require like way too much work to like 
kill and then like the fun part which was like freestyle and then doing insane stunts and being like fast and stuff kind of like disappears in the last chapter because of it and it's like i feel like your escalation of difficulty and like how complicated everything is is important but when it's at the cost of like what was fun it's like eh i would tune it a little different also play that game it's, it's a good game that's a really good time not super long it was like less than eight hours just really smooth, fun, just do mouse and keyboard, just fucking stunt shooting. It was a good time. Because these are all sets, so you have to hit them three times too, right? Like, it's like you already know what the fuck you gotta do, but I'm thinking like 10 hours. this thing everywhere. <laughs> That's another thing, it's like when you can't freely swap between weapons on the fly without pressing like a button like 20 times. In a game where you need to like instantly be ready to do some shit. Um, when they require you to use a certain weapon for like 90% of the puzzles in the area, then you're just not gonna swap, <laughs> I feel like. to do so many warp puzzles and you have to put this in switches and you gotta <clears throat> light fucking the entire room with it. Like, why would I even be sitting on the rapier anymore? I have to swap back every two seconds. It's not like the fight's required or anything. Like there's more in there, but I don't really care. We got the key. Um, no, I think we can venture for it.
Use this spell. We get it, man. <clears throat> you fuck, man. <clears throat> we get it, man. You have sex, dude. It's great. Now, please get the fuck away from me. Two more heals over here. I don't think the shotgun does like anything here. Buddy? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a chance to come back. <clears throat> Is this supposed to be the flu guy? And I freaking just don't notice. Yourself. Well, that was an alright fight. There's a bit of actual juking at the end there. You could learn. <clears throat> like, you fought him for like a millisecond every single, like, right up. You weren't really learning much. So yeah, like an arena. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck even is this dialogue man? I was just thinking of something else. Like it doesn't sound like menacing or like mysterious, it just seems like some schizophrenic shit. And then all of a sudden it's like we're going to see. Look at the comedically timed final guy exploding there. Please take it seriously. I was hoping it would roar at the camera. Look directly at the camera. Okay, I'm guessing this is where that extra level dock or whatever it is. Okay. They should be maxed out, and with people at least. Did the other guy leave because of his his girlfriend was probably in that boat that was getting attacked. Oh, we got all your things, dude. Take a quick piss and then we'll we'll do this. Then after this, I imagine we just do this and then we're gonna be final level, final boss. Who knows?
Alrighty. <clears throat> Jesus. Is this supposed to be? Why would we even be fighting here? I don't understand enough about the story. I think it's like you can have an ambiguous kind of like in the background, kind of like in the back kind of story, but like you have to like get people interested with. The visual, the visual storytelling, or like the presentation, or, I mean, something's gotta be interesting. It doesn't even need like s story, I guess, or anything. I have the gameplay's going, but I don't think the gameplay's going so crazy that the rest is completely ignorable. And regardless, I mean, there's clearly story here, there's clearly art and sounds. I mean, we're gonna talk about it. Smooth. Feels like it's some fucking cheesy movie. Well, she can kiss ass too. Or kiss ass, kick ass. And then they smooch while they're fighting. Yeehaw. Is that good? And the game's named after her. And all you do is just inch forward and press the button. It's supposed to be like the they're fighting, but then she's showing off her legs and shit and throwing them a couple kisses. <laughs> Such love in the battlefield, play fighting her. She's that good, then why doesn't she just go fucking kick ass, man? Fitty In the smooch zone. She looks like she has like a... Like a fucking egg for her face. What the fuck is that? Her fucking jaws. <laughs> Massive, dude. Oh, where is she now? Look like fight my way back out. Where's me hat? That 
was it? Yeah, a little romance, I guess. I barely even know who she is. Obviously an important figure to their little religion or country or something. We've earned the respect of... We've built up our fucking the, the Braveheart people here and all that. We will rise up against our oppressors. The Shadow Gate. Something at least. Well, we'll see the fellas in action here, but um, the saw blade. Fuck it, man. I don't know if you can attack during the saw blade. Maybe you can use your secondary weapon during it. Another short one, right? Yeah, it'll be a bit before I get to that, I think. Like, we could just slam it out, but I got a lot of old ones I need to get to. Then we might want to do non game pass shit here and there as well, so. If I play new shit and then the old ones are gonna leave game pass, then I'll be playing even more game pass shit. Yeah, cool. I'll definitely play it though, I have it installed. Of, uh, gonna lose all of our men immediately. Loud. Nothing for me to do. Thank you. 
di avrà ognuno oh, rimane ainda mi brilla ma io venire ui e the ship Wrong with the spin? Because it destroys the fucking uh. the speed up man. The spin's actually bad for you here, but I can't change. It'd be cool if you could change at the beginning of every boss at times, but the problem with the spin is if you're not careful. I mean it can do good DPS but If you're not careful, I could blow up the, the stuff. I just play it slow. Seems like it'll just be a long fight. I haven't used the dodge roll like a single time I feel like for any use. with the random electronic music, random generic electronic music in this really atmospheric story here.
What the? I did not expect those to actually go that high. I just started jumping without even looking. The Vitality Stealer would have been the best thing here. These people suck. Oh, shit. Looks like you need me and Sudam and carry him. Can't hack him. Persuaded them to join us, I see. That's cool. Moving on. Coming into the demon gate. Huh. Yeah. Lady the game's named after. Mm. 
Dilf Lord. Jeez. No, come back. If you wanted to go back, dude. Then, like, maybe you should just let your boys leave. The rest. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're at the, the bottom of the ocean, dude. Good in. Yeah, I don't feel much myself. I don't even understand the premise. Like, I feel like I needed to watch the first cutscene again. They just shipwrecked and ended up in like a foreign land where he became the the chosen dude and beat some asses and. I don't know. I mean. For a four hour and some change game, it was a fun little thing. If this was twice the length with the same level of uh, story and gameplay and all that, I would probably start losing it. Um, but I think it's to its benefit that it's short. Because it really doesn't change much after the very beginning. Um, which, I mean, hey, some games. It's the you know, same way. I mean, Hollow Knight doesn't really change all of that much. You get some new abilities here and there, some like customization you can do, but for the most part, it's just like increasingly interesting bosses and exploration and shit. No, I shouldn't even say that. Hollow Knight has a lot of changes. I just mean like in the minute to minute gameplay, it's like still mostly just spamming X or whatever and shit. But in this, it's like. You know, I'm I'm just using the rapier to just smash dudes with like a different hat that passively helps me. Like, and otherwise that's it. They try to add, like change the, the gameplay a little bit by adding like puzzles and slowing it down, which I don't think is to its benefit because the combat's way more interesting when it's like you teleporting around, smacking dudes and shit. I think some way to use all of your sub weapons on the fly and enemies that maybe had enough health or responded to you being able to use them would be cool. Like, oh, uh, you know, you could, you know, shoot a guy and then warp up and hit him after, like, a kind of like a little combo or something. Oh, um, if they don't want to do that, just make it so that it's really lethal, maybe, like a katana zero, and you could just, like, shoot your gun. You know, whenever you want, and just kind of like go through these like more challenging rooms with this warp stuff. As it is, it kind of feels like it's supposed to be like a combo kind of like brawlers kind of deal, but it doesn't have enough variety, and not and the enemies and the, the the level design to really like facilitate it. So like, it's fun just to beat on some dudes for a bit, but it ends up kind of feeling hollow by the end because there's just not much depth to it, and then. Uh, I don't think, like, it's the, the presentation, the aesthetic, the atmosphere, like, I don't know, I, I feel like this is one of those, like, the low pixel was fine for combat, but I don't think it did it any favors in terms of the overall, just, like, appeal of the looks, the feel of the story. It's trying to be this kind of, like, artsy, like, you know, we're not going to just tell you the story with all this text, it's not going to be in your face, it's going to be kind of, like, ambiguous, and there's going to be visions of stuff, and, you know, it's all some dreamy bits and it's like okay that's totally fine i'm all for you know you know some symbolic shit or some shit i gotta read into or something that's supposed to capture me more with atmosphere but that's the thing is like i don't think it really does the presentation enough like something like a what's something with like a like in a story in the background okay bloodborne let's go bloodborne right so it doesn't really have like a much of an upfront story, but it gets you with its atmosphere, some of its visual stuff, little bits of lore and cutscenes here and there to kind of get you into the world. And while I'm, you know, I'm not saying that's like some shining great example, but it is kind of an example of it. I don't think the look of this game and the sound of this game and stuff was like really that awesome to make up for like, or to keep you engaged in a kind of more subdued, ambiguous kind of story. Um, for that matter, uh, I feel like I needed to watch the first cutscene again. I barely even understood like, what the fuck they were doing there. <laughs> I guess maybe I missed that, I don't know. 
Um, them trying to do this, like, you know, uh, the, the fucking Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I say Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm quoting. Using Mr. and Mrs. Smith as a reference with this kind of, like, salsa fight against her. Like, she's supposed to be this. Get in love with her, but she's with the a different faction and she's a, she's you know he's in love this guy from another world is in love with somebody from this world kind of thing and he's the chosen one and stuff feels like a movie you've seen a bunch of times um, and they try to have some of those scenes play out where it's like oh she's actually badass and she's fighting and she's smooching on him as he's fighting and it's like okay that's cool for like some rando hollywood movie or something but like in this it just feels kind of like cheesy out of place a little bit so there's a lot of just disjointed, kind of odd scenes, and then, like I said, I, I don't think the visuals, the presentation, um, really does a whole lot. I mean, some of the music's not too bad, um, some of it's not really fitting, like the final boss one there. Um, when it's more, like, atmospheric, maybe the, the horns or whatever kind of are an interesting touch. Um, it's cool, but when it's got like synths going and shit, I mean, I like synth music, don't get me wrong, but like when it's got that going for a fight, it's like it doesn't really fit the atmosphere. So there's some, there's some uneven execution on the atmosphere they're going for, and I feel like the atmosphere they're going for is just not like that strong. So, um, that plays into the level design a bit too, because everything feels kind of samey. I, like I, I, I tomorrow, I, I probably couldn't even pick, I couldn't even think of what, like the difference in the levels at this point. I already can barely remember any differences. There's like a few scenes I could think of, like some forests and shit, but they all look really similar. Gameplay wise, it, it plays really similar. I just think they needed more depth of combat. Um, and then obviously with more depth of combat, you could probably do cooler things with the stages um, and actually be able to, uh, like I said, have more complicated stages, which might look cooler visually, more fun to traverse. I think putting in like really lame puzzles and then this like moon sword, which doesn't feel good to fight with, but then you have to like warp around with it and like forcing you to use that kind of stuff sucks. And toggling between four different weapons with one button is the shit. It really should be some kind of flow where you're using everything. Either it's a modifier button or just each weapon, to, each button does something different. I never used the roll. It took too long to wake up from, so it was just kind of like, eh, <clears throat> that could have been a button. There could have been some other buttons. This could have been just like a stick game and you just use the deep band to like, I don't know, do certain things. Or maybe some things are contextual. I don't know. You could do stuff. Games allow you to have more than two buttons in combat. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't know. The upgrades, the, the economy kind of shit, um, I think that was like okay although you run out of things to get really quickly which is odd i wasn't even like combing every level with the with the magnifying glass like i might sometimes and i still got max hp like halfway into the game the hats it's cool to test different ones out but because you can't switch them on the fly you're generally just going to hold on to one thing because you know the game's not that long and most of them are just passive anyways they don't really change how you play that much i mean they're really cheap so, I mean, you could just get one of those and then get your HP upgrades and you're done. So, it kind of makes the reward of exploration feel a little less important. I did like how the, the town kept getting bigger. I don't know if that was from story or from me saving people. I think there was just a lot of collectibles just because there's a lot of collectibles. Um, that's cool. I mean, I appreciate there were some secrets, but yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, didn't write any notes or anything, but yeah, overall... I don't know. It was all right. There's some cool stuff here. I think because it's short enough, it's probably just worth just kind of busting through if you just like kind of like 2D kind of beat em up kind of arena gameplay. Um, if you're not a huge fan of that kind of stuff, you're, you're after more of a story and atmosphere um, or something, you know, with a lot of depth, like maybe not. There, there's a lot of other games with probably a bit more in-depth combat like this but with everything else better too um, but on its own in a vacuum it's it was all right <laughs> i wouldn't i wouldn't say it was bad but i don't know i i don't think i'd be thinking too much about this one sadly from here on so i'm not gonna say it was like really good either it was all right
What else was there to say about the game? Have I missed anything? 